Lisa and I'm back with another new video. I know I haven't been online in a very long time and I'm really apologetic. But today I'm over here with a friend and we are going to discuss about one of the most controversial topics that is globalization. Can you tell me a bit about globalization? Globalization refers to the interdependence and intertwining of countries resulting due to trade and technological ventures leading to connected and more diverse ideas in culture, religion and tradition. But we can't pigeonhole all types of globalization. Yes, that's right. Globalization is basically of three types. That is political globalization, economic globalization and cultural globalization. My favorite is cultural globalization. It refers to the converging of different societal and cultural ideas and it can lead to beautiful scenarios. Like imagine, I can eat pizza sitting in India. And uh, if you think about it a few hundred years ago, it was nearly impossible. But because of the rapid rise of globalization throughout the world, it is so easily available to everyone around the globe. Other than that, I think even economic globalization is extremely important on a personal scale. Like think about McDonald's. I cannot imagine a life without McDonald's. Neither can I. <laughs> McDonald's has not only forged an identity globally, but has also impacted the economy and culture throughout the globe. So we can basically state that economic globalization is the integration and coordination of different companies and of different ideas about economy on a global scale. But what about the third type of globalization? What is it? So the third type is the political globalization. It refers to the coordination between different nations, national policies in, with an aim to bring them together culturally, economically and politically. The different organizations that are a part of the political globalization movement are NATO and the UN. The UN? WHO is also part of the UN, right? Yes. It has significantly impacted the universal healthcare system of the world. I don't really know about the universal health coverage. Can you please explain what it is to me? Universal healthcare refers to the access of healthcare systems to everybody across the world without dealing with any financial hardships. With this information in mind, do you know what the most effective and efficient way to attain universal healthcare system is? Just a random guess. Is it the PHC or the primary healthcare? Yes, it is. Do you know more about it? Yes. PHC is the most cost-effective, equitable and effective method of approaching and enhancing people's mental, physical and social well-being. Uh, we have been discussing a lot about globalization, its types and universal health coverage. On this note, there's one question that I really want to ask you. Do you think globalization has had a positive or a negative impact on universal health coverage? I think it's a multifaceted issue, but mostly having a lot of positive impacts on the world. Well, I think we have a point to dispute on. I think that globalization has a very negative impact on the universal health coverage. Let's take for example the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic of course, that we have all dealt with. It started in Wuhan, Hubei, China in December 2019. It could have become just an epidemic restricted to Wuhan, but because of globalization, which resulted in increased mobility, better transportation systems, virus could uh, transmit itself around the globe and turn from an epidemic to a pandemic and resulted in the deaths of millions. But the antidote of this problem also depended on globalization itself, right? How? But the antidote of this problem also relied on the hands of globalization. In December 2021, India developed the vaccine for COVID-19. It was made by Bharat Biotech in collaboration with the Indian Council of Medical Research. India could provide this vaccine across 69 countries only because of globalization and well-developed transportation systems. A few of these countries were Sri Lanka, Maldives, Bhutan, United Kingdom and so many other countries. This was the part of the Vaccine Metri Initiative launched by India. Oh, that's a valid point. but. This globalization created the antidote of a problem that it created itself in the first place. 
I don't think that all this trouble was necessary if globalization did not exist in the first place. I of course believe that there are a lot of positive effects to globalization and we can probably not imagine a world without it. But I think there are still more negative points. What are your opinions about it? Do you think that globalization has a positive impact or a negative impact? Do let us know in the comment box below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Bye!